All right, so picture this. For every 10 households in New York, one of them is likely suffering from food insecurity. The USDA defines food insecurity as the inability to acquire adequate food for one or more household members due to a lack of resources. So to get a better understanding of one solution to this problem, we stopped by the warehouse of one of the largest food banks in New York to see how they've gotten creative to get it done. I've been in this work in New York City in the food insecurity space for over a decade. And I've never seen the numbers of people who need access to food as high as it is now. The number of visits are more than double what they were pre-pandemic. And we're not seeing those numbers decrease, so we need your help now. It's not easy, but this second generation trailblazer says it all boils down to working with local farmers, manufacturers, and wholesalers to get the best bang for every buck that's donated. We've got a really talented team here that turns that dollar into, you know, five, sometimes six meals. But Leslie says challenges like these three make it difficult to keep up. And clients over at the pantries are feeling it. More people are coming to our food pantries. And more people are having to rely on even multiple food pantries. Like one food pantry is not going to do it. They have to go to another one. New Yorkers are like, trying to be as resourceful as they can. You're here every day. Yeah. What's that burden like for you? Do you say you feel it as well? I mean, you know, when you're dealing with folks one-on-one, uh, -on -one, you know, you, you're sensing their anxiety as well. So you really have to be attuned to like, what am I doing? Is there a better way that I can do this to ensure that I'm serving them the best way that I can? We are here for New Yorkers for those times. That's, that's what we do. For NBC New York, I'm Kay Ingram.